Yeah, health second friends fam, you're welcome back to today's episode with Nesmiri. Yeah, just a quick one today. I just want to share with us a couple of seven things we should avoid in this season. I mean, this period of pandemic. Yeah, the number seven is actually something we all ought to do. So the first is avoid physical inactivity yes this period everybody's vulnerable to becoming sedentary everybody's vulnerable to staying maybe lying in bed till um, very late in the morning because of the lockdown most people are not going to work except the um, health workers so please we ought to avoid getting sedentary we have to be physically active just keep up with your level of physical activity yes so that means you have to go back to my video on sedentary living sedentary lifestyle and get to know those things you ought to avoid in order to stay physically active you don't have to stay glued to your television to your phone to your computer screen yeah some of you may be working from home working online you ought to take some break you know you know what by going back to my video on sedentary lifestyle you get to know what inactivity can cause to your system yeah the next one is staying hydrated avoid dehydration yeah most of us because we go to work we go with our water we have a water water dispenser at work and we because we work we are always compelled to drink water from time to time but at home you may you realize you 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 seldom take water so please just intentionally you have to make a deliberate effort to keep up with your level of rehydration okay to avoid dehydration because dehydration is very bad to the system the body needs water to perform crucial functions every system of the body needs water i mean sufficient amount of water to perform to keep up with its function okay so number three is avoid wrong dieting yeah because we are at home we are closer to the kitchen there's a, a likelihood of having to eat more often and uh, larger portions of food of course when going to work you, you tend to eat little just to to finish up quickly and leave for work and you just know you eat less than when you're at home so please we have to control our portion of food we have to control the number of times we eat because in times like this people put on weight and of course i, I uh, i'm sure you wouldn't want to put on the weight you never desired okay so you have to control your feeding and also don't skip breakfast because there's, the, the temptation is very clear. Chances are that you could say, since I'm at home, I'm not rushing to anywhere. Um, I don't have work to catch up with by 8 a.m. So I'll just take that breakfast when I'm done with this. Then you stay on your bed or you, you go doing some other thing. And you end up taking brunch and not breakfast anymore. So please try as much as you can to not skip breakfast. Another thing is alcohol consumption yeah it's a quiet time it's a cool time to be at home you you see friends less often than usual but it's not a time to take more of alcohol okay it's not a time to take more of alcohol because of course ex excessive alcohol cause some damage to your system so please stay off alcohol as much as you can do not try to take alcohol to to get um, over your sorrows to get over your idleness to do away with boredom please avoid alcohol as much as you can but then the fourth one is ethanol it has to do with ethanol avoid exposure of ethanol to fire we all know that Okay, there's a season where I believe every home has hand sanitizers in a good number. So, and the major ingredients of the major component of hand sanitizer is ethanol. And we know ethanol is highly inflammable. So please try as much as you can to not apply your ethanol and then get to the kitchen to start up a fire. Try as much as you can to keep ethanol, away, your hand sanitizers away from your kitchen to avoid a problem that sets in in a bit to prevent another problem the COVID-19 yeah the next one is stay off boredom you know that what that says you know that statement I'm bored I'm bored I'm lonely please try as much as you can to avoid it of course we know that an idle man is the devil's workshop so please try as much as, as you can to not get bored of course there's so many things to do play games work if you're working from home just go do things do discover things that have always been at home that you've never had time to do because of a busy schedule and this is the time to take advantage of and 
perform those things, carry out those duties, try as much as you can to not be bored. Because whenever you're bored, of course, you, in a bit to get busy, you, you dwell on past memories. And most often, the memories you dwell on are the bad memories, the wrong memories, the, the negative memories. And that is a step to depression. So stay as much, as far as you can from boredom, from loneliness. Try to stay connected to your family members. If you're staying alone, try to put a color course, try to chat and just get busy with something. Yeah, so number six is the long sweet word procrastination. Yeah, we all know it's very easy to say and it's very sweet to say, um, okay, I'm not going to work today, so that thing, I'm going to do it later. But when you procrastinate, you feel unfulfilled at the end of the day. And this is a negative impact on the mind. So please stay on top of your game, stay on top of all your responsibilities and uh, stay fulfilled. Okay, and lastly, but not the least, we have to stay connected to the Supreme Being. Of course, we know there's a God and we have to look up to him because from him, we are hopeful. We, 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 we have a positive outlook of life. And, uh, you know, so many things are shaking the world. We hear one story today. The next moment we hear another. We don't know what to hold on to. We just don't know. Uh, we, we're like, what's going to happen to us tomorrow? What if this happens? Well, we have a God whom we can look up to. So just stay connected to the Supreme Being because the spiritual Component of health cannot be overemphasized. They are all interrelated, the physical, the spiritual, the social, the mental. So please try as much as you can to stay connected to the Supreme Being. All right, so with this, we've come to the end of today's episode. Please subscribe to Health Conference YouTube channel if you're just viewing. If you were told to just come and see the video and enjoy it, please subscribe and see you next Friday. Bye-bye.